Hello, everyone. My name is Liz, and I am happy to be guiding you through a 45-minute prenatal class today here at House of Rhythm. As you can see, I have a few props with me. I have two blocks. Feel free to use more if you have them. I have a blanket underneath my sit bones. Feel free to incorporate as many blankets as you would like. And I also have a bolster. This is not 100% necessary, but if you have some pillows or a yoga bolster handy, I highly suggest you bring them all in as tools for your practice today. So to get started, let's begin in a comfortable seated position on your mat, maybe adding those blankets or a pillow underneath the sit bones to get comfortable. Taking in a few slow breaths, letting go of anything, <clears throat> anything in your mind that you were previously working on, any to-do lists, things that happened before, things that will happen after. Let's release those thoughts. Come into this practice present together. Relaxing the jaw, the forehead, the eyes. Taking an inhale, raise the shoulders up towards the ears. As you exhale, roll them down and forward. Shifting the breath in and out of the nose if it's accessible to you. Inhale, shoulders rise. Exhale, roll them forward. Relaxing the muscles through the back, the arms, the neck. And then reverse. So let's inhale, shoulders rise. Exhale, roll them down and back, slightly lifting through the chest. Heart smiling forward. Two more of these. Nice, slow, steady breaths. And relax the shoulders down. Inhaling, raise your head taller. Crown of the head reaches towards the sun. As you exhale, relax your left ear down towards your left shoulder. This is very gentle. We're just allowing the head to fall to the side. Option to walk out your right fingertips. Inhaling to center, raising the head tall, exhale, opposite ear, rest down towards opposite shoulder. Option to walk out the left fingertips. Noticing this subtle side stretch from the neck down through the top of the shoulder. Inhale, raising the head to center. Exhale, dropping the chin down, noticing how I'm keeping my shoulders open and back. Nice tall spine. And we can rest the head here forward or we can create a little bit of movement side to side. Mindful and very patiently moving left to right. Coming back down into our center and then lifting the head. Inhale the right arm to the sky. Exhale, reaching over to the left. Now if we're feeling or experiencing any tightness in our rib area, we're going to reach forward and up. If we're feeling okay in the ribs and we can get a nice deep side stretch, we can lift from the top over to the left. Inhale to center, release the palm. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, opposite arm. Exhale, reaching to the right. Notice if this side feels different. Again, if there's any tightness in the ribs, up and forward. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. Inhale, raise. Exhale, release the palm. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, right. Exhale, reach to the left. Inhale to center, exhale the palm, inhale left arm, exhale to the right, inhale to center, exhale the arm down, very nice. 
So raising the arms out in front of us, palms to the sky. We're going to do some stretches to open up the shoulders, the back. And this is sort of an alternate um, few postures to our normal spinal stretches. So instead of cat-cow, we'll be doing some new things. Inhale, exhale, tap the shoulders with the fingertips. It's okay if we don't touch. Keep the elbows slightly lifted, so in line with the shoulders. Mindfully moving. Let's do two more, five total. And then keep the fingertips reaching towards the shoulders. If we can touch the shoulders, let's rest them here. Inhale, open the elbows out to the side, reach the heart and gaze up. Exhale, slowly round the upper back, draw the elbows in towards each other in front of you. Inhale, opening elbows, lift your gaze. Exhale, curling forward, elbows draw together. Three more at your own pace. Nice little stretch here. This is a good one to do in the morning. One more together. And inhale, keep the elbows out to the sides. Again, if our, our hands don't touch the shoulders, that's perfectly fine. Now we're going to just make a few turns from left to right. So inhale, at center, exhale, twist to the right side. And we're just gonna twist the upper body and see if we can keep our core from our belly button area down facing towards the center. So inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, unwind and exhale to the left. Again, exhale to the right. Inhale, unwind, exhale to the left. One more time on each side. Beautiful, inhaling to center, relax the hands down onto the lap. <clears throat> and before we move on, um, typically our class is really mellow, it starts out kind of slow, but I'd like to incorporate a new pranayama. This is called horse lips. Now this is something you might do with your kids already, uh, something that you might have done in your childhood, and ultimately we're going to inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and we're going to uh, create some movement with the lips. So inhale, and exhale to horse lips. <laughs> Notice how long my exhale was. So we really want to make sure we're taking a nice deep breath in from the belly through the diaphragm up here. But as we exhale, we don't want to sharply breathe out. We want to slowly elongate the amount of air we're letting out of the body. So inhale, let's do it two more times. <laughs> One more. Awesome. So this just helps us connect deeper with the body. It might sound really silly, but you have a nice little tingling sensation going on from the mouth. You might feel like you can take a deeper breath now, and that's wonderful. So let's come to a standing position coming into our sequence. Feel free to remove this blanket from under the sit bones. I just like to put it off to the side. <clears throat> Perfect. So we're going to come to the top of our mat. Our mountain pose, feet are hip distance or wider. Keep the knees soft, we're not locking the knees here. Shine your palms forward, we can do a nice shoulder roll. Inhale, they rise. Exhale, resting them down and back. And draw baby and navel in towards the spine. So we're not completely allowing baby to hang forward and we're not overcompensating by tucking the tailbone. Just kind of maybe, um, teeter-tottering back and forth between to find your nice center of gravity and mountain. Inhale, the arms raise overhead. Exhale, keep the arms lifted, bend the knees, coming into chair pose. Our favorite chair pose. I think I incorporate this in almost all of my classes. So we're working the arms, the shoulders relax, drawing in the navel and baby. 
Our feet can be even wider than our normal chair to help accommodate. Taking another breath in. When you're ready, let's step the right foot back. Coming into a crescent lunge or a high lunge. If you'd like more stability, lower the hands down to the hips. And feel or imagine your hip flexor coming forward. So I just made a very, like, a very obvious movement with the hips coming forward, but it might not feel or seem like um, we're moving our hips much. We just want to see if we can experience a subtle stretch through the hip flexor here. Our hips can become tight over time, especially throughout our pregnancy. So we want to create a little bit of um, extra movement there. Very nice. Now slowly turn and plant your back toes at a 45 degree angle, planting the outer edge of that back foot, warrior one position. Again, we can always bring the hands to the hips. There's a knee, there's a bend in our front knee and we're feeling a very deep stretch through the back of the calf. Inhale one more breath and as you exhale, straighten your front leg and draw this left hip back in line with the right. So if we straighten it, it still might be in front. Let's draw it back to square the hips off to the front of the mat. If our stance is too long, we can heel toe the back foot up slightly. And I like to bring my blocks into play here. So coming into pyramid pose, inhale, we can stay here if it's an, an intense sensation, or you can exhale, draw the heart forward. And we can bring our hands, fingertips to the mat. We can bring them to the blocks or we can keep the hands on the hips. Balancing the weight evenly between both feet. Grounding through the outer edges of both feet. As we hold here, inhale, raise up to center. And we're gonna turn the toes to the side of the mat. <clears throat> and make our way to the other side. Arms come out to the sides. Let's turn your right toes to the back of the mat. And we're going to scoot that now left toes slightly forward. Bend into that front knee, inhale arms raise or to the hips, coming into opposite warrior one. Notice the sensations on this side of the leg, this calf muscle. Are we feeling it through the Achilles, through the back of the knee? Where are the sensations? Deep inhale, reaching taller through the crown of the head. As you exhale, hands come to the hips, straight in the front leg. Draw this right hip back in line. Again, if you need to or want to, heel toe the back foot up to create a smaller stance. I personally like to do that. One more inhale. Exhale, staying here or drawing the heart forward over this front right knee. As you can see, I've only folded halfway. I don't have my blocks as they're over there, but if you'd like to grab your blocks or if you have an ottoman, anything around you, a couch, a chair that you can hold on to, that's perfectly fine. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, bend into the front knee. And if we can, let's lift the heel and turn the hips and the feet um, to the top of the mat. So now we're coming back to our crescent lunge on the opposite side. Noticing if we can send the hips forward. Noticing the stretch through this side of the hip. Holding for a moment. and knowing that it's okay to hold the postures for an extra breath or two as we're giving our body time to adjust and acclimate to maybe deeper stretches than we've had in a while. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, if you feel steady, step forward, bend the knees, chair pose, Utkatasana. Again, we can bring the hands to the hips. If you'd like, um, typically we'll have a wider stance, but if you'd like, you can bring the feet closer together. It's really anything you'd like. One more inhale together. Exhale, mountain pose, straighten the legs, lift the chest. 
Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, prayer to heart center. Very nice. Inhaling, arms overhead. Exhale to chair pose, coming back into it. Very nice, just breathing through it. Where are we feeling the sensations? When you're ready, let's step the left leg back. High lunge, crescent lunge. Relax the shoulders, soften the jaw. Notice if we're tightening or tensing in any specific areas. Plant your back foot with the toes turning to the side of the mat. Reach the arms out to each side, warrior two position. Relax the shoulders. Ground through the outer edge of that back foot. Turn your front palm to the sky as you inhale. Reach back or to the sky, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Creating a dance with the arms. Inhale to reverse. Exhale. And one more time, inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two, arms reach out to the sides. Coming into extended side angle so we can plant our right palm on the thigh. Sweep the left arm up and overhead. Relax the shoulder and the chest. Ground through the heel and the corners of your front foot, distributing the weight between both feet. If you'd like to take this posture a step forward, we can lower down to the elbow or we can lower hand to a block on the inside of your right leg. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale, straighten your front leg and turn the toes to the side of the mat. Coming into a brief wide-legged forward fold. So if we have a wall handy near us or anything like that, a couch again, anything is a prop, we're going to inhale to stand tall, both toes are facing the side of the mat. Exhale, keep a slight softness to the knees. Don't lock here. And we're gonna fold halfway. If it's in your practice and your hamstrings are very flexible, we can lower all the way down or to a block. If not, let's keep it halfway lifted. Giving yourself a moment of stillness. Inhale to rise. Reach the arms out to the sides. Turn your left toes back to the top of your mat. Bend into this front knee, warrior two. Inhale, turn your front palm to the sky. Reverse your warrior. Stay mindful to keep the bend in the front knee as we reach back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Inhale to reverse, nice little dance. Exhale forward, extended side angle. So palm or elbow comes down to the thigh and we're reaching up through the left hand. And even though our front hand is on the thigh, let's see how much weight we can take out of it. If you feel comfortable lifting it off of the, the leg, we can do that. Using as much or as little support as you need. Inhaling to standing, warrior two. And slowly pivoting to the top of the mat, coming onto the ball of the back foot. Take your time, be patient as you transition. Send the hips forward. Nice crescent lunge, creating space for baby in the hips. Inhale one more time as you exhale, step forward, chair pose, bend the knees. Taking the wide stance, spread the fingertips. Fix your gaze somewhere in front of you, finding a drishti point. Somewhere to direct your focus. Inhale, mountain pose. Ah, let's relax here. Three cleansing breaths, so reaching the arms up and overhead. Exhale, down to the sides. <sighs> Side out of the mouth if you'd like. <sighs> and if you'd like to create slight bounce in the knees, you can do that. <sighs> Very nice. So we have one more part of our sequence. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, just taking balance into account as well as the strength in the legs. If you have a wall near you, I highly suggest that you be near it just in case. 
for extra support. So inhale, arms raise. Exhale, chair pose. And slowly, let's lift the right heel. Hands can come to the hips. And if we can, come on to the right toes. Ultimately, this is we're coming into an eagle pose, but eagle pose can be a little bit tricky depending what trimester we're in. Everyone is different, every body is different, every day is different. So honor yourself wherever you are. If you can, let's lift the right leg. Keep the left knee bent slightly. And from here, if you can keep your balance, whether you're next to a wall or not, we can bring this right foot over the left knee. Sink deeper into your squat on the left side. Again, using that wall, a couch, anything you need for support. And if we're here today and our toe is planted, that's perfectly fine. Let's unwind the leg if it's not already. Very nice. Inhale, the arms raise. Exhale, chair pose. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Lifting your left heel. Hands can come to the hips. Noticing if this side is easier or more difficult to balance. When you're ready, lifting the left leg. The right knee is still bent. If you can, just bringing the, right, the left leg over the knee. Breathing, finding your drishti point. And knowing that it's okay if we keep the toe planted. You're still feeling all of that action. You're still right there with me. One more breath. If our leg is around the knee, let's unwind and plant the foot. Mountain pose. Shine the palms forward. Three breaths together. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> One more. Very nice. And let's do our horse lips together. Three, three breaths. Deep inhale through the nose. When you can shake out the hands, shake out the feet, shake out the head, anything you need to do. This is your practice. Two more. Relax the cheeks, relax the jaw, relax your mind. Very cool. All right, we're gonna come down to a seated position on the mat, bringing your blanket or pillow into the mix if you'd like. Lowering down any way that you want to. Let's extend the right leg out in front of us. And to accommodate baby and our, our belly and hips here, we can bring the foot out, the left foot out to the side. If you have a t-shirt, a towel, or a yoga strap handy, um, you can bring this into your practice. Let's hook the towel or yoga strap around the right foot. Inhaling here to sit tall. We can hold the strap if we need. Inhale to sit tall, maybe letting go of the strap and exhale, twisting to the right side. And notice that I'm resting my, uh, my elbow and the crease of my elbow here, hugging it into this left knee to turn gently. I don't want to use it as too much leverage to crank into the twist. We want to avoid anything similar to cranking. We just want to gently open this right shoulder up. Inhale to center, release the knee down to the side. Inhale and exhale, gently walk the fingertips forward. Notice I haven't gone very far, it's perfectly fine. If you'd like to take a very deep stretch, we can just draw the heart forward towards the earth. If not resting here, keep your right knee soft. Inhale, walking the hands up. Extending both legs out to the sides, wide-legged forward fold. So again, we're going to fold forward on an exhale, walking the hands out in front of us. Our legs are open so we accommodate baby here and our thighs aren't stopping the belly from coming down. However, if we're not going to fold very far. We're just inching forward, creating space through the inner thighs. 
keeping the knees soft. Opening up through the back of the leg. Maybe adding a smile or closing the eyes. Allowing yourself to completely relax and surrender in this moment. Keeping the spine long. Walking the hands back towards the body. Inhale. Now let's bring this right leg in. Knee is still down to the side. Inhale to sit tall. Exhale, walk your fingertips forward. Left knee stays soft. We're moving very slowly. Notice if we're tensing through either thigh, a glute muscle, are we gritting our teeth, squinting our eyes closed tightly, let's soften all throughout the body. Inhale, walking hands up, planting the right foot. Inhale, if we have our yoga strap or towel, we can hook it around the left foot, take a little forward stretch here. And notice as you flex your toes, if you decide to come forward slightly, notice the deeper stretch as you flex, as opposed to just allowing the foot to be. Releasing the strap, sitting tall, inhale. Exhale, opening the left shoulder up to the side. Exhale, into your twist. This is called Marichi Pose, however it's modified for our prenatal practice. Inhaling to center. And coming into our Savasana together, depending which trimester you're in, I have a few options. We can slowly make our way down onto the left side of the body. If you have some pillows here, this is gonna be for maybe an earlier trimester, or if we're in our third trimester and we don't want to lean back, um, for the second option, we can always come into this one. I like to place a blanket in between the knees here. This will help align the spine. And the bolster is kind of bulky for the side, um, laying down on the side. But if you have a, a lower pillow, we can come here, perfect. Now if this, if you would like a different option, we have a nice little yoga style recliner setting up. So I have, like I said, two blocks that I am using. So the one further away from me is standing up taller. The one closer to me is going to be on the shorter end. We grab any pillow or bolster that we have and rest it backwards onto our little pyramid of blocks. And notice how I'm putting pressure. I want to make sure that the blocks don't tilt back when I lay back. So making sure, perfect. And I have my blanket here, uh, right where my low back is going to meet the pillow. Feet come out in front of you. I like to plant the feet first. Then as you lower down, walk the hands back. Gaze lifts towards the sky. And then arms can come down by the sides or we can rest hands onto baby gently. Softening from the crown of the head, down around the temples, the forehead. A sense of relaxation and peace traveling down the eyelids, the cheeks, the lips and the jaw, softening down the neck, through the shoulders and arms to the fingertips, each breath 
slower, deeper, feeling at ease, just you and baby. The sense of stillness traveling down through the belly, down through the hips as they soften. Extending the legs if you'd like. The stillness travels down through the thighs, knees and calves, through the ankles, the soles of the feet down to the tips of your toes. Breathe in. begins to wander, acknowledge your thoughts, but come back to the sensation of peace. Come back to your breath. Focus on the inhale and then the exhale. If you would like to experience an extended savasana, we can stay here. However, given the time of the class, I'm going to begin to cue us out of this corpse pose posture. So begin to wiggle the tips of the fingers and the toes, sending energy down through the arms, the hands, the wrists, down the legs, to the feet and the ankles. Take a few deep breaths in through the nose. Release through the mouth. And begin to walk the hands up as you begin to sit forward. If we're resting on our side, then gently pressing up to a seated position. Extend the feet out in front of you. Plant the hands down behind you, fingertips facing the body. As we're here, pointing and then flexing the toes. So I'm flexing my left toe, pointing the right, and then alternating. See if you can spread the toes. See if you can't spread the toes. And then do circles going inward. Stay mindful of the breath, and then outward, so reversing your circles. And this will get the fluid going back into the feet, improve the circulation, get that blood traveling back up to the heart. Perfect. Now coming into a comfortable cross-legged position, or however you'd like to sit. Ending our practice with a pranayama called bellow breathing. So if you're familiar with a bellow that you use for the fireplace, this is going to be similar imagery that we can picture in our head. So interlace the fingers together, bring the fingers underneath the chin. As you inhale, raise the fingertips up and exhale, or I'm sorry, the elbows raise and exhale the elbows release down let's try that again <laughs> inhale the elbows raise until they're up at about our shoulder height and then exhale keeping a nice tall seat inhale one more time 
imagining that the lungs are filling with air as you open and exhale, relaxing down. Now as we inhale again, we're going to take three breaths slightly deeper. So inhale and imagine fitting 10% more breath in your exhale and then breathing and relaxing down. Two more with that extra 10%. One more. Relax the hands down onto the knees. Take three cleansing breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh the breath out of the mouth. Feel free to add some more of those cleansing breaths into your practice if you'd like. And ending our practice with a mantra. So today I would like to share the practice of OM with you. So OM is said to be the sound of the universe. That ultimately everything, this yoga mat, your pillows, your blankets, yourself, we all vibrate um, at the same frequency as the vibration and the sound, OM. So to begin, we will open our mouths with a nice AH sound. We will change our mouth to an, a more O, oh, like as we're saying, O. Oh. And then at the end of OM, we'll bring the lips together, saying a nice M mm sound. So, Aum. And just as we did with our horse lips pranayama, we are going to let the breath and the exhale out slowly so that we have a nice longer mantra. And we'll do three ohms together. If you're uncomfortable practicing the mantra verbally out loud, um, feel free to say it in your mind or you can just watch me. If you'd like to practice with me, let's take a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth before we begin. Very nice. Now inhale to Om. Om. Two more. Om. Thank you so much for oming with me. <laughs> so to end our practice together, let's reach the palms to the sky as you breathe in. Let's send out our gratitude to your community, your friends, your family, the universe. Exhale, prayer to heart center, center, bringing all of that gratitude back to your heart and your baby. Ending with Sat Nam. I recognize the divinity within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me again for another prenatal class. If it was your first one, I'm honored to be practicing with you. Feel free to check our website for other offerings, whether it be a nice slow vibes class or another prenatal class with myself or Crystal. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.